Hey guys, my name is Muhammad Kamran and in this video we're gonna be talking about how to export tracking data from Adobe After Effects into Blender. You will be learning how to motion track in, in After Effects, then install the script, then export the data, then go to Blender, import the data using an add-on and how to install the add-on for the data because you people were asking me some question in my previous videos on how to do the process so this video is dedicated to motion tracking data into blender so let's do it right now so first thing first we want to do is to install the script but before doing anything i would like to track something so you will understand it perfectly and you will be able to know how to do it so i'm using a from pexers.com i will put the link to the same footage in the description down below if you want it so this is the footage i'm gonna drag and drop it into a new composition here as you can see we have that clip which is 26 seconds long and i don't want it to be very longer so i'm gonna trim it on i'm gonna split it on 16th seconds and i'm gonna delete the remaining part and i'm gonna go to composition composition settings and i'm gonna make the duration to 16 hit enter and as you can see we just have 16 seconds in here so now it's time to track the motion track by using track camera and now click advanced it will motion track all of the things going on in the scene and i have already done a tutorial on these but i just wanted to go into details on installing add-on working with different stuff and all of those things okay so I'm using the same technique from for every single video, literally, because uh, this is very simple, very faster to do. And for some other stuff, I'm using Blender motion tracking because uh, it is a little bit accurate, but Blender motion tracking takes time. After Effects do it automatically, but Blender, you have to do it everything manually, like setting up focal land, setting up trackers on a perfect spot, and all of those stuff. But After Effects do it you know automatically and it's really good and as you can see it's tracking it very faster like if we just have 78 percentage remaining 80 percentage 12 seconds remaining i'm gonna pause the video as you can see it's now solving the camera wait for these to finish and you will get something very perfect in our scene and then you will be able to add any kind of object into 3d scene if you like this tutorial Make sure to like it and also do a comment if you want to know how to do object motion tracking. I'm going to scale this up so you will be able to see trackers. As you can see, we have, if we hover over the, over the trackers, you can see we have something circular appears and it just shows how it, it will feels like when you just select this tracker. So I'm just selecting, I think these three are perfect. So I'm gonna left click, then right click, then create solid and camera. Let me just zoom in and I'm just checking out if it's okay, then we are just going to export it. And I think this is amazing. I really like it. Because it's actually sticking to the ground and this is what we want. Okay, so tracking is done. Now the best part comes into action which is how to export these motion tracking data into blender well i'm using a script i will show you how to install the script in this video so in order to do it go to your browser maybe you can go to chrome bing or whatever you're using okay so click the link in the description down below you will be you will be directed to this page it is after effects to blender what you need to do you need to download the raw file click it and it will start downloading it as you can see here and then come up to after effects go to file go to scripts and go ahead and click install install the script file as you can see we have this in download folder export composition data to json select it and as you can see, restore After Effects uh, to add the script to the file and OK. So now I have already installed the 
script so i don't need to restart it but if you are in, in, installing it right now then quit it and restart your after effects again in order to have an action on these so select everything like that and click file click script and export composition data to json click it browse it go ahead to the directory where you want to save it i'm going for for this folder maybe i'm gonna click save oh first you need to name it i'm gonna name it like track and okay click export and now all of the data is exported now it's time to import it into blender in order to do this first you need to have blender installed here it is as you can see blender is open okay so i will also have another link in the description down below click the next link if you find it in the description you will be directed to that page as you can see now what you are supposed to do click this download raw file and download it click keep and download this python file okay so now it's downloaded go to blender go to edit click preferences and click install now go to downloads folder and check for for a python file that we have just downloaded i have here as you can see import composition to blender.py and install add-on and as you can see it's already been installed if it's not installed just click the checkbox and click save preferences and that's it so now you have the scene here i will show you so click a and delete everything in the scene now you have the add-on turned on you can just come to file import and you will you will be able to see here after effect composition data click it go ahead to the directory where you saved the data from after effects i have here just click it and import after effects composition boom you have it here if you go to camera view you will be able to see it so now we don't need this plan the front plan and select it delete it by clicking x but if you click a select everything if you have a look on the timeline as you can see the keyframe starts from zero because after effects timeline starts from zero but blender starts from one so it can make your problem so in order to solve it just grab those keyframe into one that's it solved the other thing you have to keep in mind select the camera maybe you have to keep in mind is the resolution of the video it must matching the actual video so in order to see what's the properties of your video go to your manager you have the video here and select it click properties go to details as you can see we have the resolution of 1920 and 1080 but the frame rate is 29.97 frames per second and we have to change it the resolution is matching but you have to change this to 29.97 that's it control s save it you know so i'm just saving it here save blender file and uh, go to camera data or camera settings click background image expand it add image add a movie clip click open and open up the clip if you can increase the opacity if we play it as you can see the plan is stuck into the ground and this is what we want now you can add anything you wish of you know for example if i want to add a product or something i'm going to select these plan click shift s cursor to select it to snap the cursor into the selected object shift a add a mesh and you can just add anything you wish of i'm gonna add a susan head scale it up maybe i'm just scanning up the plan first then we're gonna gonna change it to local i'm gonna move it i'm gonna present the axis scale it up like that and move the susan head up slightly rotate it like that and move it down like that to touch the plan and hide 
the plan. Now, if you play it, as you can see, Suzanne is Suzanne is attached to the ground, and it's perfect. Yeah, this is what we want. And you can use the same technique to add your product into your scene, to add anything you wish of. You can add, like literally, you can model up the entire geometry or the entire environment right now and can make something really great. You can also add vegetation into walls. You can you can replace those signs. You can you can add depth into it. Maybe you can just try anything out if you want. And that's 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 what you have you can do with it. So guys, thanks for watching. If you want to know how to do composition in Blender or how to do compositing, the final compositing in Blender, I have already made a tutorial on it. You can also check this out. It's very helpful in order to know how things works. After completing every step of tracking, then you have to compose it. So I have shown you uh, on my in other videos that how to do this process. I've already made so many videos on motion tracking, adding your products into real scene, making your product uh, amazing, and you know just check them out if you if you want. So guys, thanks for watching. If you have any query, just ask it in the comment section below. I will try to answer all of your questions. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next one. Subscribe my channel. Bye.